What up, everybody? That trying to back another video. I know it's been a minute. I feel like I always say that every time I make a video. It's been a minute. <laughs> but um, anyways, man, y'all see the title, man. I yeah, I bought another one, man. I bought another STS. I don't know, man. I just can't stop buying the scars, man. I think I, I think I need help, man. But yeah, man, I got an 08. Uh, sitting in there right now. That's a pretty nice, nice day. Uh, I did sell the blue one already. The blue, the uh, 05 I had. So if you guys are keeping track, this is gonna be my third STS. The first one I had was an 07. Uh, the second one I had, the blue one. Actually, the 07 and 05 were both blue. But like I said, I sold that one already, and I picked this one up. Um, I actually wasn't planning on getting this car. Uh, the, the blue one, actually, I sold it probably like two months ago now. It's been gone for a long time. I just haven't, you know, updated you guys. But I sold out that one a while ago, and I bought something else. And then, yeah, I wasn't planning on getting this one, but you know, it popped up. And uh, I'll explain the story in a different video as to why I really got this car. But, uh, anyways, yeah, I got it now, man. Um, pretty cheap. Uh, obviously, you know, you, you guys know me. I, I only buy cheap cars, man. So, um, it's got a few things. It's got a few issues. Obviously, it's not perfect. It's not brand new at the same time. But overall, I think I did pretty good. There's no check engine lights. There's a few warnings. Which I'll show you guys, but overall it's pretty good. Like I said, it's a clean title, 08. Uh, it's fully. Uh, let me. So it's like it's nicely loaded up. Actually, it's got the uh, uh, heads-up display. It's got the adaptive cruise and every, all, all that works. Uh, let's start it up real quick. Uh, there's a few warnings. So like when I start it up, you see that's a. Shut this off. So it's got a stability secure mode. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, and there's another one. Should pop up in a second now. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Severus Lane departure. And that's about it. So, um, well, yeah, this one also it did have the uh, magnetic ride, but that's been deleted. It's got Strap Master on there now. Uh, it also has, like I said, the lane departure, but that doesn't work. Which is a very common issue on this car. There's a camera right here, actually, this is the module. And this goes bad, and you can't really, you can't get them anymore because they don't make this part anymore. It's been discontinued, so. And I don't want to buy a used one and have it go bad, and, you know, so I'll probably never fix it. Um, it has a blind zone alert, so it lights up the mirror. This one's kind of burnt. I think the heating stuff is... I don't know what's going on, but... It works fine, so... Anyways, I'm going to go outside and do a walk around real quick, and I'll talk about some of the uh, issues this car has. Let me pop the hood. Get outside, I'm going to forget my keys. I'm in this random-ass parking lot. But, uh, yeah, it is, man. It's got the uh, purple curler. It also has the nicer wheels. Artstar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there it is. Yeah, that's the uh, sensor for the adaptive cruise. It also has a special plank. I'm not sure what this is. If you guys know what it is, let me know. But yeah, pretty standard. Uh, so it's got a few scratches here and there. Uh, there's some rust on this side. So just a little bit. I'm gonna try to fix that before it gets worse. But uh, sure. The biggest thing that's not working in this car, is say the freaking handle doesn't doesn't work. I gotta open it from the inside, or I gotta use the uh, actual key to get into it. So, y'all know I made a video a while ago talking about some of the common problems with this cars, and it's the micro switches on the door that goes bad, and then you can't open the door. So, actually, both the doors are bad. Uh, the driver's side door, it wouldn't open at all. So, uh, it has the keyless thing where if you get close to the car, it detects it. And all you got to do is just pull the handle right. It automatically unlock. But that doesn't work. Uh, so, usually, the other way you can do it, you can just do like a regular car, right? You just go there, hit the unlock button, and then pull the handle. But that still doesn't work. Like it, this do it doesn't open at all. Uh, the passenger side, the keyless stuff doesn't work. Although if I'm lucky with the key fob, I can, you know, pull the door handle when it opens. 
Um, but the driver's side is just completely dead, so uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. At least on the driver's side, I'm not to worry about the passenger side. Uh, so yeah, anytime I get in the car, I gotta use the stupid key to turn it because that's the only way I can get in, you know. Uh, so it's really annoying. So I'm gonna fix that eventually because you know, walking up to the car and putting this in, like, come on, man, what's this, man? Come on. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna fix that. As I show you a little rust on it, so it's not too bad. I'll probably fix that too before it gets worse. Um, well, yeah, overall the car's pretty good. The, the the biggest issue though, the biggest thing with this car, at least when I bought it, I uh, was uh, this was actually uh, the guy who sold it. He was a smoker, like a, like a hardcore smoker, you know. And I didn't know that because uh, when I pulled up to check the car out, and obviously he didn't he didn't say anything about you know the car smelling like smoke or anything. I saw the guy smoking outside, so I'm like, oh shit. So I asked him, hey, did you ever smoke in the car? I was like, yeah, but I was like, oh, it doesn't smell too bad. And I got in and I was like, oh, it was bad, man. It was really, really bad. Uh, I couldn't drive it home because I actually got this car. It was like, I had to drive quite a bit to get it. Was, I mean, it wasn't that long. It was probably like an hour or 30 minutes away. So I had to go to AutoZone and I bought this. I'll put a picture of it. It's like a, I don't know what it's called, but you put it in the car, basically, you turn the AC on to recirc, and it just blasts the stuff all in the car for like 15 minutes and you have to let it air out. So I did that like three times, and after three times I could get the smell to like go away. So it's like it's actually I can actually drive it and not fucking pass out, you know, because of how strong the smoke smell was. So, so I've been driving it just fine. It's it's a lot better now. It's still there, for sure, but it's a lot better. Like I said, I did clean the windows. If you notice, uh, there's no floor mats, right? There's no floor mats in the car. The car did come with floor mat. Um, because of all the smoke and everything, I just threw everything I was in the car through. I threw all the floor mats. Uh, I cleaned the seat. I cleaned all the windows. You know, just trying to get all that residue off. So, and that helped a bit. So, I'll probably I'll have to get new floor mats at some point. And I'll most likely end up taking it to like a detail shop and have them. Because I know there's like an ozone machine or something that they used to get rid of that smell. So, I'll probably have them do that. Um... So yeah, man. But anyways, the, I said that's probably the biggest issue with this car that's really annoying. I wish I kind of knew. I would have still bought it anyways, but you know, I would like to know that head. So, you know, for y'all out there who smoke, don't be smoking in your cars, man. It's a pain in the ass to get that smell out. Plus, it also devalues your car if you think about it. Nobody wants to buy a car with fucking smoke smell. Like I can deal with it, but a lot of people don't want to deal with it. You know, or at least if you're gonna smoke in it, at least try to clean it up and you know get it out before you sell it. You know. So that, that really pissed me. I was really, I was really mad. But then again, the car was in it's a good shape, you know. Like I said there's no checking in light, just a few things with the uh, lane departure, which I don't really care about. Um, so uh, this doesn't have the magnet, the magnetic shocks anymore. Uh, they were replaced with Strut Masters uh, recently, actually, which is fine. I'm cool with it because those magnetic shocks are super expensive. Uh, so, uh, so everything is good to go. No check engine lights. Um, I'm going to tint the windows eventually. And obviously, I got a few things I want to do. I want to tint the windows. Uh, I got to do the exhaust. Uh, but I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to straight pipe here like the last one because the last one was kind of loud and annoying. So I don't know. I'm thinking of putting like a Flowmaster Super 10 on it. But I don't know how that's going to sound. So if you guys, you know, let me know what you guys want to see. Should I straight pipe here? Should I put a Super 10? And then we'll go from there. Oh, I could just strip pipe it, see if I like it, and end up putting flow master after. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna do quite a thing, do all that stuff, my regular stuff with the car, man. And, you know, and uh, this one, is, yeah, I can see it's got the uh, black interior. Uh, so it's a little. I've never had one with a black interior, so it's very different. Oh, it has this. Uh, uh, let me start it up. say the heads up display so it's pretty nice uh, it has some uh, DVDs in the back so right here I believe this, uh, this is definitely an aftermarket though but yeah you can see it's got DVDs and it's got a remote so if I turn it on kind of flips around so yeah. It's kind of cool. I mean, I'll probably never use it, but. 
Uh, turn off. There we go. And it kind of folds around. The DVD slot is like up here. Um, yeah, it's pretty. You know, somebody spent a lot of money on this car initially. So. Uh, got a lot of shit in the front, man. Well, yeah, this is the exhaust tips I already bought for when I do the exhaust. So I'm gonna have them put this on. But like I said, I'm still not sure what I want to do. So I don't know if I want to straight pipe it or. Right now, it's pretty damn quiet. Part on the uh, airplane noise, man. I'm like right next to the airport, so. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, reveal the new car. Uh, well, not new, but like, you know, new to the channel. So let me know what y'all think about it, about the STS and uh, anything particularly you want, want me to do to it. Uh, I did already do some maintenance things. I changed the, uh, the belts. I had to change the uh, separate belts. This thing was, it was squeaking really, really bad. So I had to change that out, put new belts in it, so I'm quiet now. Yeah, sure, right? Guys, that's so so quiet, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, that's it, man. Like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll see y'all next one, man. Then 300 out.